PKFC, Knucklemania 3 weigh-ins are in the books. The time for talk is over. No more five-minute five rounds, no more gloves. I like the sound of the no more five-minute rounds. Talk about this just for a second. We got 24 hours left until it is time for you to make your debut in a sport that was kind of built for Diego Sanchez. Absolutely, it's, I it, agree. The, the wait is over. How excited are you right now? Um, I'm just thrilled because I get to do it here in my hometown. I'm excited because me and Dave hooked up three years ago and we made a plan. The plan has came to fruition and Albuquerque, New Mexico, we were doing bare knuckle down on the Rio Grande before there was the Route 66. And so this is our sport. Before there was UFC and before karate got big in the 80s, we were always the bare knuckle fighting champions out here. That's, the, that's how we get down. And so we got a big fan base for this out here. You're going to see it, Knuckle Mania. I'm going to thrill this crowd. Austin Trout is delusional. He is unaware that this is not a boxing fight. I know that he just took his boxing gloves off, started hitting the bag with his knuckles, and he thinks that his hands are so blessed and highly favored. But there's so many other elements, like striking in the clinch, like grabbing somebody's neck, like blocking a punch with an elbow, like if you underhook, you know, there's just a lot of different elements that he doesn't see. I do see all these elements, so it gives me a huge advantage. And on top of that, and on top of that, let me tell you the big secret. He did his whole training camp. Where? Houston, Texas? In the humid sea level? Oh, big, big, big arrogant mistake, my friend, for, I'm telling you right now, I was running those Sandia Mountains. And I've been putting in that sangre, sangre. I've been putting that blood, that heart, that corazón into that. Man, I'm in shape. I'm ready. I'm recovered. I'm ready to just go get some rest because this has been a long week of cutting weight. There's been a lot of obligations. And, and, and I'm ready to rest tonight. I need to get some food. I've had only three bananas and a piece of banana bread today. I've been rehydrating. So this is my last interview today. I love you guys, and let's, any other questions? That is it, Diego. We are excited to see you in there. Oh, yeah, one more thing. Making a war. One more thing. And uh, at, the, at the stare down, he just told me three times, Jesus can't save you. Jesus can't save you. Jesus can't save you this time, Diego. And what that means to me, because I am a Lord, and I, I am a, a warrior for the Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. This is my purpose in life. Yeah, and, and, and I, and I might have been able to step away from my purpose in life because of my fleshly desires where I felt unworthy to live up to my purpose. But I'm, right now in my life, with all the signs and the wonders, the prophecies being fulfilled, I ain't messing around with God no more, man. I'm doing like Solomon said and fearing the Lord with all my heart. And when he told me that, that was my sign that Get ready, people, because this is going to be the most violent thing you've ever seen. This is not This is not a boxing ring. Those are not ropes. Those are metal bars. And when he's going to fill them, when I put the pressure on him, and when I put him up against those metal bars, I'm going to crack some ribs. I'm going to crack him so hard down his spine line that um, he's going to fall. And my prediction is a first-round KO. Two minutes is all I need. This is a dialed in, fired up Diego Sanchez. We can't wait to see you, Thank you tomorrow night. Thank you for your time. Thank you. All right, best of luck.